In the back, it looks like we've got something hiding right here. Today we are at the Goodwill on Monocacy Boulevard in Frederick, Maryland. We are gonna head in here and see what we can find to buy and flip our profit. Here we go. It's super crowded in here today, so I don't know how long I'm going to last, but I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna try to hang in there for all of you. <laughs> there is a candle. All right. I did a quick peek at the Christmas. And I think we're gonna move on to the regular stuff. What is this? Oh, <laughs> I thought it was like a horse laying down. I have no idea why, but it turns out it is a bird actually intact on a flower. I'm surprised that that isn't damaged. I don't know, it's made in China, it's $4.50. I don't think I'm going to purchase that today. This little piggy on the other hand, no, I'm just kidding. Um, it's silver plate, it's a piggy bank. Kind of sweet. The blessings in a backpack is still here. One of my viewers in the comment had mentioned um, that blessings in a backpack is actually a charity organization of some sort um, that helps disadvantaged kids. Um, I can't remember exactly what the charity does, but um, I thought that was pretty cool. Blessings in a backpack. I'm sure there's information on it online. Here is a Hummel um, music box. Looks like the winder is missing on that. A lot of the times that these have the, um, the mechanism on the... I can't even get it open one-handed. There we go. Does it work? No. <laughs> There's no mechanism. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with another broken, broken one. Not until I get my last one fixed. Wow, this thing is crazy looking. What is this? It's a samurai. Oh, it's plastic. I thought for sure that was going to be porcelain. Wow, it's $24.49, okay. Seems to be nicer quality than a lot of the ones I come across, but I wouldn't even know what to do with that. And I don't read Asian characters, so I don't know. This is very sweet. Chin Dynasty, Treasures of the Dynasty, 1988. Oh, it's got birds on it. <laughs> I like the birds, how much? $4, and of course $4.50, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about $4.50. I also like her. She's porcelain. I see Mr. Yadro, dentist, is still back there. The Maiden of the Perfect Blossom. She's doing a very good job. <laughs> there is a garlic grater. This one is actually made in Spain. This is, well, it looks like rose medallion, but um, it's more contemporary, $6.50. There's a made in China sticker. Um, you can tell by the weight of it and just the way it's made. It's definitely more contemporary. Those look like bleak in the back. Let's see if we can reach them. Are they? They are not, so they're Delano Studios. That's kind of neat looking. Oh, it's a candle holder. Is that Buddha? I don't know. $14.50 though. A little bit spendy. Those are some nice perfume bottles. Five dollars and fifty cents. That one's a little bit sticky. <laughs> it didn't want to come out. Alright, well, I haven't picked anything up yet. I like that. Eight dollars and fifty cents. Pictures 
of the floating world. Hmm. I just purchased one of these candles at the last Goodwill. One with a winter theme, so I probably don't need another one. I don't think I've ever bought and sold one before, so I don't really know what the value is. I think that's, yeah, made in Hong Kong. Stainless steel. I'm not going to find much here today. I did get some really neat artwork, but I'll, I'll honestly, I'll, I'm probably going to end up hanging this um, on my second floor above the console. There are some sweet little teapots here, but a few of them seem to be missing their lids. It's a shame. like it, but somebody used a lot of hot glue to get that stuff in there. <laughs> it's a shame. Okay, well, most of that was anticlimactic. Oh, these are contemporary. I've been fooled by these before. Oneida. Threshold. Photograph Yorktown. I'm gonna head over here and look at the baggies. And then I think I'm gonna peek back here because I've noticed they've been putting some of the higher end stuff in the bag. And I'm not opposed to buying the higher end stuff and paying a little bit more if I could still make money on something. So we're gonna go see what they have back there, if they have anything at all. It's a shame that Goose has lost a leg. Piazza no five I have no idea what that says. Oh, what does that say? Nirvana. Hmm. I was wondering if that would be worth nice looking at. There's a department 56 in there. In the back of my head I'm saying, you don't need Christmas. And I don't. Gloria Hawk. All right, well, I didn't find anything, and I didn't want to spend too much time standing here researching, so I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to keep walking. All right, so I guess the bad bees are going to leave us hanging today. Not a whole lot back here. There's a few contemporary decorative vases. 20, 18... Coles originally 40. So you're getting it half off if you buy it here at the Goodwill folks. <laughs> that is an enormous Bambi, right? That's Bambi? Gosh. That has to be vintage. Fisher Price, well it's 2001, so it's not that vintage. I mean, actually, that would, like, 20 years plus is vintage now, right? Isn't that what they're saying? <laughs> I don't know about that, though. It just looks kind of dirty. And I don't know. Okay, well, before I take off, I figured I'd check in the mugs. Aphorism. What is an aphorism? I don't think I've heard of that before. Incredible sharks. Ripley's Aquarium. Hughes and Brews. Gray Fox Pottery. Cupola Society. Hmm. That's kind of a limited market for resale. <laughs> Okay, 
I'm gonna keep moving. So I circled back around and I did a Google image search and I am finding a lot of these through a Google image search. Um, a lot of them are in protective glass boxes even. Um, so a lot of art is where they're popping up at. View, uh, I don't know, I think I, I feel like we're gonna go down a rabbit hole on this one. We got a login. No, we're not logging in. We don't have a login. Um, but I was able to find this on um, Google Image Search. So I looked up and I noticed there are some dolls up here. I don't usually mess with dolls. That one has staining on it. Doll buyers are extremely picky and it's just usually not worth that egg. <laughs> I don't think this was here earlier. I think someone may have put this back, hand painted in Hong Kong. That's nice. Not really sure what it is. But... All right, are those fonts in there? No markings. Uh, unless they're behind a sticker. I don't know. They're not restocking their shelves or anything, so it's not really worth hanging around. I think I'm going to take my artwork and I'm going to go. All right, well today we are at the Goodwill on Monocacy Boulevard and we're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and flip our profit. And here we go. There's a big M. That has some serious crazing on it though. See what we've got on this shelf. Lots of candles. There's something. Oh, it was this over here. Didn't I have one of these before? I feel like I did. Wolf Wolford Glass Blowing Company. Yeah, I did. I had a set of two of these and I was looking for the large one. <laughs> I couldn't find it. Came in a set of three, I believe. This is the large one that I couldn't find. Eventually my other two sold. I think I got like 70 bucks for those. This one actually has um, the insert in there. Let's see. Yeah, this one has the, the glass insert. I'm gonna have to look these, uh, this up real quick. Um, this actually sells pretty good, if I recall. I think the other two sold for like 70 bucks. This, I believe, is a Pure One vase. Although I've never seen it with this um, applied green. $14.49. Oh, boy. Um, I think it still sells pretty well. So $14.49 is a little steep, but, I mean, it sells... That was pretty decent. I could still pay $14.49 for it and make some money. Make sure there's no chips or cracks on that for $14.49 though. So I pulled up comps here just to give you an idea. Here's a set of three that sold for a hundred, although it looks like they were listed twice. Um, actually, it looks like, I don't know, maybe those are separate listings. <laughs> um, here is a $14.4. 14 and a half inch one that sold for 78. This looks to be about the 12 inch, but that was an auction uh, with only two bids. If I was to list this, I would list it buy it now. It looks like the buy it now. Mm, I don't know. Here's a buy it now. Or no, that was a. It looks like a lot of people are putting these to auction, which surprises me because if I was to list this, I would definitely do buy it now and I would probably do buy it now between 45 and 54 um, and I would it would sit for a while my last one sat for almost a full year before they sold and they did eventually sell um, so I'm gonna leave that in there it's only seven dollars and fifty cents there's money to be made there um, but like I said if I'm listing that it's gonna be buy it now it's clear glass and um, it's gonna sit for a while checking over the shelves to make sure that <laughs> friends aren't here, but 
I don't, I, I never have, I never have luck in finding a full set. So I think I'm only going to get the one. And that's okay. <laughs> it just would have been perfect if the others hadn't sold. I would have had all three. $2.49. Rosher Antique Leaf Collection. Maybe that's why I'm attracted to those because they look kind of antique. <laughs> In the back, it looks like we've got something hiding right here. It looks like it has some age to it. Um, is there a marking on the bottom? No, but there's a chip on the bottom. <laughs> that's a shame. That does look like a Hummer Lachlan glaze. But I can't really do much with a chipped platter, so we're gonna have to leave that one behind. Alright, some pickings today. There's not much going on in the baggy section either. So, alright. Let's go check out the lamps though. I do want to check out the lamps. Um, I did try looking up Pure One Art Glass Vase and nothing came up. So. So I'm like, maybe I'm going nuts. So I went to Google instead of um, eBay. This is the one that I'm thinking of. This uh, this one that's listed on Etsy right now. This vintage Pier 1. It's crazy to think that Pier 1 is vintage, but it's true. There, <laughs> the Pier 1 has been around for quite a while. And this is the Pier 1 vintage uh, blown glass vase with the handles. Um, and it is very similar in style. Um, they have theirs listed listed on Etsy for 30 bucks. What kind of have any second thoughts at 1449? I mean it is really pretty. I'm thinking like if I was to list that I would think like 45. It is made in China, but I think what I like about it is that green. I think that adds to it. I think if the green wasn't on there, I wouldn't be as attracted to it. It would just kind of be like, oh yeah, that's made in China. It's pretty, but $14.49 is too expensive for that. But because it has that added green detailing, I think that's why I'm tempted, even at that price. Um, and I, th I think, I think there's still m money to be made on that, so I'm gonna grab it. I'm trying to talk myself out of it, but I don't think it's gonna work. I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna grab these two items today, and then uh, I don't think there's much here for us other than that, so. We're going to continue down the road and we'll pick it up at the next Goodwill. I should probably at least look at the figurines though, right? <laughs> I think I walked in and went straight to the other aisle. Oh my gosh, I expected that to be metal, but that is actually porcelain. Is it English or um, Italian? Not really sure. It does have chipping on the edge though. A, a very, a very sharp chipping actually. Um, I felt it when I tried to pick it up. These are still here. These were here last week when I looked around. And I thought this was interesting. <laughs> I don't know what exactly that is. It's got like two different holes in it. And that... I guess it's just a dish of some sort. Okay. This is really it. Pretty slim pickings, I think probably because it's the week after Christmas. Throw yourself a party. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> it's adorable. Alright. What is this up here though? National Premium. Ooh. Four forty-nine. I mean, it is beer advertising. There could be money there. I don't know how much though at twenty-four forty-nine, and I don't know how excited I would be about listing that. That's the thing. I have to be excited about listing something, otherwise it just hangs around my shop for a really long time. Um, even if there is money there, there either has to be a lot of money there for me to be excited about it. Or it just has to be something exciting. And I'm not really excited about Bruriana. And I have to be honest with myself. That's just my personality and that's my reselling style. So um, I'm not even going to look it up. I'm just going to leave it here for the next reseller who gets excited about beer stuff. Leave it 
it right there for you, bud. All right, well, my total spend there was $24, and that included the vase and the oil light. Um, now I am going to move on down the road to the Walkersville Goodwill, and I will see you guys there. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.